yeah. I just got a new lens. Tamron, you guys do a good job making lenses, seriously. Got my new camera, this is the 80D. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, and I got this. This is a new drone bed. This thing is bad. Let's go out today and see what we can do. Does this sound fun? Mm-hmm. Good. All right, how to do this. Oh, this feels nice, man. It's the first time I'll carry this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll tell you one thing about living in the Philippines. The energy cost to have your aircon running, they call it aircon here, we call it AC in America. But the cost it takes to pay for like your electricity bill, because I have my aircon going all the time. Dude, energy is expensive here. I think it's more expensive here than it is in California. I had a house on stilts on the top of a cliff in Del Mar, California, which is very expensive. And only in the summertime, I had my AC going there, and my bill was like 600 bucks. But it was a huge house. This is like a two-bedroom place, and my bill is like, how much? 10,000, 11,000 pesos, which is like 200 bucks. It's so expensive here. It's crazy. All right, let's go. Dude, I am all set up. That is incredible. These two bags and this tripod go anywhere in the world. When we go to Antarctica to do filming, seriously, that's all we need. Isn't that cool? All right, so it's, I always start saying so. It drives me crazy. I gotta stop. Bad habits are a bitch to quit. Uh, run away to an area called Cordoba. It's an area where one of my favorite restaurants is. There are three of these restaurants called Lantau. There's one there, there's one by SM City, and there's one way up in the hills. And they're all both very consistent with their food. It's so good. Hopefully we can have dinner there. You wanna have dinner there? Sure. I have money, let me check. Oh yeah, I have money. Um, so, see, I did it again. Where was I? Without saying so, it's hard to gather my thoughts. So we're going to Cordova. See, I just said it again. We're going to Cordova. Cordova is an area, I'm telling you, man, this pisses me off. I was informed by somebody, by many people, and I've looked into this. I, I swear to God, I don't mean to start this video on a bad note, but my blood boils. I am not joking. This is real. This is reality here. This is an area where parents give their little babies, six month year old babies, little kids to pimps as prostitutes for fucking creeps that come in this country and exploit what people need money and so they're starving so they give their fucking kids to prostitution and pedophiles. They're like, how dare you do that? I'm like, I swear to God, man. One day you're gonna have to answer to God for what you do. That is sick. Fucking shame on you, you fucking pedophiles coming in this country doing that shit. The trick is you gotta put your faith in God, not pimps. I swear to God, man. You know, I don't wanna kill anybody who's innocent. People have lives, people make mistakes and all that. But when you cross a line and you rape a woman or you're a fucking pedophile, I would have no more joy in life than to put a bullet between your eyes. I would actually have no problem killing a pedophile. You guys are sick. You deserve to die. It's better, in my opinion, to be murdered than raped. Because if you're raped, you have to live with that damage in your life. You might as well just kill somebody and just let them live in peace for eternity with their creator, you know what I mean? But when you are exploited like that when you're molested as a child it fucks you up for years and I know this because I was molested when I was a kid and I still I'm sure I have little things here and there that I need to work through because of the things the trauma that I went through as a kid that's no joke man like seriously I have a video called Moorfield story I kind of talk about that uh, it's a video on my YouTube channel check it out Moorfield story I'll link it down below so I'm very open about my life, but we're going to Cordova, and it might be a beautiful area, might have a nice restaurant, and we're gonna show you this area that's pretty cool. I guess there's what, how many, 10,000 flowers? 10,000 flowers. 10 flowers. Roses. 10,000 roses in the ground, and they light up at night. That's pretty cool. 
Mr. President Duderte, sir, I have to tell you, I am a major fan. I love that you became the president. And I hated Barack Obama when he was American president. I was embarrassed. I have good news. You and me have a lot in common, and we're both guardians. We both belong to the same guardian brotherhood. If you could somehow give me a license to kill pedophiles, dude, I'm all about that. But I didn't come into the country to break the law. I want to be a lot of biting tourist being citizen because I'm not a citizen uh, if you could give me citizenship that would be cool too but Derte, I'm a big fan of yours I really like that you became president and I really appreciate all the hard work you do and I really appreciate that you don't give a fuck what people think about you and you're kicking ass and taking names you have two thumbs up for me I love you thank you so much Duderte for what you've done I hope this video gets to you because I'm a major fan and it would be an honor to meet with you. Hell, I even buy you lunch. I don't know if you drink beer or not, but I'll treat you to a beer too. But whatever you want. Yeah, we're stuck in traffic again, and it's raining. Oh, I can't fly the drone, I don't think, unless the rain stops. This is, this is what you call traffic. It is sit here for a long time, traffic. We got the bug delete, but that on your wa. But I actually think like, well I know this, I don't think. If I saw somebody molesting a child, I don't wanna get in legal trouble and like murder somebody even though I'd want to, but I guarantee you I will beat you to an inch of your life. I will break every fucking bone in your body and rip you apart. And I have 25 years experience in martial arts. I will beat the shit out of somebody who's fucking molesting a child that's sick. Dude, we just got here. I hope I don't get nailed by one of those guys. Uh, we just got here. It's dark. It took a while. Too much traffic. And we pulled up to these goats. Isn't that crazy cool? Look at that sky. That's beautiful. This camera's great in low light. Damn girl, what's your name? Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? What the was the entrance of this? This drone bag, sick. I love this thing. I feel good, man. This feels really good. I'm like all set. I can travel the world. You and me, Antarctica, Africa. This is where I was talking about. This is Cordova. That's Lantau. And this is some coffee shop. They have 10,000 roses. Watch this. shot man people are bitching about you know I guess this guy that owns it is a Korean and he doesn't no drone fly no, who knows no, but he's bitching about people flying drones but you know when have I ever cared about people's opinion you know what I mean I didn't break the law so I'm gonna do what I want right dude this thing's super legit what's up man this guy you want to say hi Say hello. Round of hello. This guy, man. Little kids get so curious about the toys I have flying around and stuff. Here we got the Koreans with the selfie stick. It's very common. I call that the Korean stick because they all have it. You know. Am I right? <laughs> I think they invented it. I don't know. But now we're gonna go eat a land house. Fuck this other place, man. You have to make sense when you have rules. You know what I mean? I'm not even on their property, so. All right, we're gonna go eat. Ah! Don't do that. 
That way we don't have to wait. Dude, I feel so happy right now. I'm like, I'm set up. I've got such good gear now. I love your restaurant. This is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, okay. Okay. So I want to do, no, do a review on your restaurant. Okay. Yeah, it's a good restaurant. It's a Lama Kaio. Come on, stop. This land tower? Wait. There's an airplane. Yeah, air traffic is horrible in the sound. I never live underneath the flight path. This place is like the floating restaurant. It's like the floating restaurant version of Lantau. There's three different ones. This one is like on a deck. And look at that. The whole thing's like in the water. And it's like so cool because this place is right, right on the water and it's so breezy. It's very breezy. The other one by, the one by SMC Sites is a little stinky. There's a lot of flies there because it's by the dump. And, you know, I still like eating there. It's good and it's like right on the water, but this is like on the water. The other one's by the water, it's right on the coast. Uh, and then the one up in the hill is really nice, but you might get bit a little bit by mosquitoes because there's more mosquitoes up in the hills for some reason. They're a little disorganized tonight, aren't they? so good. Does this feel good to you? Babe, okay. will you excuse me a moment? I gotta go wash my hands. I love you. I guess I was grossed out and I never used hand dryers in bathrooms. It's a filter and it blows bathroom air on your hands. So you get like shit air on your hands. That's why in, in so many restaurants here have air dryers. And after I heard that, and they don't have hand soap a lot of places or they have diluted soap. So when it's just hand dry, I just air dry. I look crazy, but who cares? How's the ads doing? I don't know. Actually, it's supposed to meet her. When? This weekend. Last weekend. Why don't you meet her this weekend? Well, I can meet her maybe tomorrow if you're working. Same as today. I don't know when. Is she free and all work? You probably will do that. Yeah. Lama. That looks tasty. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for food. You ready to eat? And won't you dig in? You find a comb and not the other side. Is there cheese on these? You know what's funny? I love cheese. I'm a cheese freak. I love cheese. But I moved here and people don't really have cheese on anything and that really upsets me. And I've never had seafood that had cheese on it until I came here, which is crazy. The sushi roll I get every day from that one place, they have cheese on the sushi roll. And then the Las Vegas roll at Sumo Sam. That was really funny, those guards. That they were gonna stop us? They didn't stop us. They did No, they didn't. They didn't stop me, I kept going. <laughs> I'd rip his arms off. 
This is a nice place. Yeah, this is the nicest land Do you hear that? The nicest land towel for Macy. And for me too. I think this is my favorite. I've only been here once with my crazy ex. Wrong big out. She's got to be a miserable person. But no need to waste time talking about her. I feel bad for people like that. She uses all these different names though, so who knows what she'll do over there. We meet the Iowa salad. So there's already Subway in Manila? There is a Subway? There's a Subway in Manila? Oh, Subway sandwich. I was thinking Subway train. I'm like, no, it's Are you allowed to smoke here? Yeah, I, I remember smoking there. I think it's out there though. That's a diplomatic way to ask. Always be diplomatic. Can you order it? Sure. Whatever you want, my love. Tempura and quick quick. Yeah. I'm I turned my camera off. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Then stop lying. I can see it. It's broken. No, it's not. You were saying? I don't know. I forgot. You were like this, you like that, mm -hmm. Filipino food. I want this. I want this. I want this and I want that. So you were saying, my love? I don't know. I think I'm done. No, you're not. Yeah. What else do you like? French fries. I have a question for you. Serious. What if I bought you a G7X and one of these tripod things and we both have cameras on ourselves so we can get perspectives and then you can have your own vlog channel? What do you think? As we talk, I have two different angles of us talking. So it's like a TV show style, like quality. It would really up the production value and then you can have your own vlog. No, I'm not gonna have your own vlog. You don't want your own vlog? I'm not good with that. I remember now, the biggest problem I have with this place, Lantau, I totally forgot. But see, it's good I come by and give reviews, you know, solid reviews. The service sucks. Sometimes they forget that you ordered a drink and they never bring it to you. And you're like, hello? So, where I'm waiting and waiting. And then he just came to the grill next to us and was like, bring your red horse. I'm like, what about my red horse? Here it is. Yeah. This is strong ass Filipino beer and it is tasty. Let's toast. This is such a crispy beer, it just tastes good. Was on my beer bottle. Salama Guapo. What'd you get? Watermelon with no sugar and no milk. I don't know why they always blend the seeds with it. Those are seeds. Can I taste it? I get the seeds thing. I'm good though. Yeah. I'm really good though. Are you hangry? That's actually a new word I picked up in San Diego. Hangry. Hangry. When you're so hungry, you're angry. Hangry. You get it? Isn't that funny? My friend, the trick, introduced that word to me when he was hangry. That's our food. How exciting, man. Is it nani liver? Hola, ma'am. Oh. With this liver, but... Ma'am, yeah, get informed, ma'am. We can run, ma'am. Huh? Yeah, get informed, ma'am. No liver. Are you excited to eat? They put liver in there, right? See, that's another thing. People don't listen. I said that before, the Valentine's review, right? People don't listen. I don't mean... Maybe I shouldn't say this. In America, people listen because they get customer service. People here, they're not trained properly. They don't listen. Listen, I don't like liver. And they put it in there. What the? Salama. That was good dessert, huh? What? Good dessert? Yeah.
place is fun, huh, babe? Isn't this beautiful? There's a city right there. So my official review, now that I've been here, the official so you, review is... Good food, bad service. Yeah, bad service, they suck. But they don't listen. Place. If you hate liver, and you put a big piece of liver in your mouth with noodles, that's not a nice experience. Fucking listen, seriously. You guys are here. You're one of my favorite restaurants in Cebu. You're at her height. Yeah. <laughs> if you listened, you'd be at my height. <laughs> Ad service? Yeah, you just gotta listen. You gotta listen, seriously. And we, it took a while to get our change, right? But they're it's nice. It's worth it though. It's worth it. But this is something you have to get used to living here. Come on, guys. Hi. It's not necessarily the employee's fault. It's the management's fault. Here's what a restaurant needs to have. They need to have a floor manager and a kitchen manager. If you have that, you're all set. You have to manage the quality of service, the quality of your product, the quality of everything. You just check the quality of those five levels of branding. You remember those five levels of branding, babe? Service, product, personality, image. What's the other one? I always forget that last one. Yeah, I'm so defiant. I want to fly my drone over that place again just to piss them off. But Macy won't let me. This place right here, idiots. They can't stop me from doing it. I'm not breaking the law. I'm not hurting anybody. Malgabi, como esta? I got a car down the road. I have a car. See, that's the thing about Filipinos, man. You just go up to a stranger and say, what's up? My own B.E. A.K.A. Good evening. Como esta? A.K.A. How are you? You go up to any Filipino and just smile. And they smile back at you and you make a friend. The only thing that can kill me is God himself. When it's my time to go, he'll let me go. He'll keep me safe until it's time. If somebody kills me in that process, then it's my time to go, I'm happy with it. I know where I'm going after I die. Do you? But I have no problem with death, I'm not a... Yeah, heaven, yes, hell no. I'm not afraid of death and I'm ready to go whenever my time is ready. Oh shit, watch the mud, babe. Is it mud? You're wearing those white sandals I bought you, too. You ready to go home? Yeah. You look like you need to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're doing well. Much love. Peace out.